Hi, my name is Aurelia Tunte and this is the AMS Show. Today, our guest is Michelle of the Aspen Education Foundation, or AEF. Welcome, Michelle. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Aurelia. Thank you for having me. Michelle, can you tell us about the Flamingo Fundraiser? Yes, I'd love to. Um, so the Flamingo Fundraiser is an event that AEF has every year. So it's an annual event, and it is our largest um, way to get funds in to help uh, help take care of the, the programs that we raise money for. Um, it's a huge community event. We love that it brings so many people together, and we hope it's a really fun event for, for everyone who comes. So how should you dress for the party? The dress this year is a Colorado outdoor theme. Uh, lots of sequins or cowboy hats or cocktail dress, kind of anything goes. In fact, it, you, last year we had similar um, similar dress, and we found that a lot of people liked that they could be casual or dressed up and had fun with it with lots of cowboy hats, and it was really neat. That sounds really fun. So I heard there's a really great band for the Flamingo. Yeah, so this year we're having the Corey Brunson band. Um, they're from, I've never seen them before, but what I've heard is they're kind of a fun country band, but they also can play anything. So for the beginning of our event, we'll have a, kind of a speakeasy set up, and then uh, going into the evening, they'll be dancing and a lot of rock and roll and hopefully good music. Wow. Okay, so what types of items are in the live auction? We have really, really um, spent some time on the items this year with hopes that we uh, have hit upon unique experiences that the people coming to our event will really, really get excited about and want to and bid on so we can raise money. Uh, I can't tell you the items quite yet, but we're hoping that they, uh, we feel, find that they're really, really fantastic and we hope that the people there will also enjoy them. We've had many, many people give us uh, phenomenal, phenomenal things. So what are the goals for this year's event? This year our goal is to raise $500,000. Uh, every year we meet with the school district to see what funding needs there are for the programs that we help with. Um, and so that's really our main goal this year, to reach that number. That's a really good goal to have. Yeah, it's a big number. <laughs> <laughs> so what are the steps for organizing a huge party like the Flamingo? It takes a lot of people to, to put it together. We have um, Elizabeth Slasberg, who has EKS events. She plays a major part in all of the kind of the background stuff, uh, figuring out you know how many tables there are and um, what what the menu is, and um, she helps to figure out who the band will be. And uh, the St. Regis helps us out quite a bit as well because they have such a big uh, venue, so they help us. Uh, Katie Viola of uh, Katie Cassane Viola Design um, it does uh, you know outrageous, her and her team do an outrageous amount of work to get all of our marketing materials. And if you saw the, maybe the slide that you first showed with the, the flamingos, with the, with the campfire, she, her team came up with that design. Um, Michelle Stiller, she's one of our board members. She goes out and really, you know, pounds the pavement. We have many, many people on our board that, that help and community members and teachers and, and students and, um, it's really a big undertaking, and we're so lucky that have so many people helped to put it on. You really are lucky. <laughs> yeah, we're so lucky. <laughs> so who are some of the VIP sponsors? Um, really, we have some major donors uh, that contribute not only just to the Flamingo, but contribute year-round. We do have a lot of VIP sponsors that... Uh, purchase tables and they're, they're at a bigger price point so it's really really nice I mean I don't know if I can single out all the VIP um, sponsors because we have so many because people don't only contribute with their, their their big check that they put down but also they contribute with their 
their time and they contribute throughout the whole entire year. Um, some of our big sponsors for our um, for the companies that are like that are getting our tables and stuff are um, we have Vector Bank, we have Alpine Bank, we have um, Bubba and Tracy Eggleston with Sotheby's, we have um, Woody Creek Distillers. We have, um, like I mentioned before, EKS Design. We have events, and we have KVD. Um, we have more, m many, many more. I'm, I'm sure I'm leaving a, a ton out, but we have a lot of 7908. We have a lot of uh, local restaurants, and we just have a lot of people that contribute. So how does AEF decide what programs to fund? Well, we work really closely with the school district, Aston School District, and they really hone in on what programs um, that aren't funded by the state that AEF can help to raise funds for that will make a difference in our schools. So, do you involve teachers and students in the fundraiser? Yes. Um, we're really lucky to have a lot of great teachers and many, many great students to help. We have what's called um, an AEF Ambassadors Program, or Ambassadors Club, rather, and they are a club in the high school that ha has students that help throughout the year actually helping with our Flamingo event. Um, at the actual event, they're there and they're checking in um, the, the, the attendees and making sure that they know where they're going and helping with any questions they may have or helping if they you know, ordered a different or had a certain menu items that they needed that their students are walking around with AEF hats and they're helping in that regard. And then a lot of our teachers were so fortunate, um, come and help with what, what is called a spotter. And so they, um, when people are bidding on these live auction items, we have to have people know that, uh, see who's bidding. So we have the spotters, which a lot of them are teachers and community volunteers that help us with it. I understand that some Aspen teachers donate to AEF. Yeah, isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. Right? To have, um, to have a foundation that's raising money for our schools and our kids in our schools and to have teachers actually on a monthly basis give some of their money to the foundation is wow. really amazing. Yeah. No kidding. So where can the community buy tickets? Right now we're sold out. We have been fortunate the last two years to sell out within minimal weeks. Uh, there's other ways that you can help, but unfortunately, our tables and our tickets have all been sold out. We've had, you know, a really great showing. But you can always go online and donate to AEF, or you can come in and talk to us and tell us how you'd like to participate. And um, we're always willing to hear uh, how people can help and what they think is needed in the schools and see how we can make that happen. How can parents and community become involved in the Aspen Education Foundation? Um, again, I'd just like to say that any time they can reach out to uh, Cynthia Chase is the um, director, and then myself is uh, I'm in the office. We're always available. You can give us a call or you can uh, email. You can contact any of our board members. Come into the office. We'd love to have any support uh, with uh, helping or uh, volunteering we love to have the community come and help. Can you tell us about the incredible online auction that starts after the Flamingo? Yeah, we have an online auction that will start at midnight after the event. So our event's on the 16th, and at midnight, our online auction will be live. We have many community, um, community members, community um, companies, that have donated, and it's just outstanding, the, the items that we have. So I hope that people go on and see after the event and know that they can give that way too and get some incredible items, like you said. Uh, it starts midnight after the event, and it runs for a week. Why is it necessary to have organizations like the Aspen Education Foundation in the state of Colorado? Well, in the state of Colorado, our funding for our schools is on the lower end throughout the country. And it, it, we, we would still have programs that we need in our school with the funding from the state. But the Aspen Education Foundation is very valuable, I feel, because it takes care of the extra, the, the makes our schools 
a little bit um, more unique in the programs that we're able to have. So it seems like the students from Aspen School District are very fortunate to benefit from the Aspen Ed Education Foundation fundraising. I think so. I mean, I have three kids in the school, and I feel like they're really lucky as well as I am as a parent to have an organization that really cares about our, our education and what our students are doing in our schools. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Um, I just think it's a privilege to be in this community, and I'm honored that I get to work for Aspen Education Foundation, and I get to be in the schools and see the kids and um, do things like this. Uh, I just think we live in a really neat community where everyone gathers together and supports each other, and I think it's a really healthy place, and I'm glad that people care so much about education. Thank you so much, for Michelle, for being on the show. The Flamingo is Saturday, November 16th at the St. Regis in Aspen at 5.30. Again, I'm Aurelia Tunte, and you've been watching the AMS show. Thank you.